Hi out there, Spiritually Young here. I'm doing a review today on Gemma di Luna Moscato. It's a wine made in Italy. From what I've read, it's perfect for weddings and, you know, all types of sophisticated events. So let's see. I did purchase this small bottle at Liquor Barn for, I believe it's $5.99. The big bottle was $14.99, so it's not very expensive. Um, I did purchase the small bottle because it's just me, you know. If I get the big bottle and I throw that, throw that down all by myself, I want you to call some help in because I have a problem. So I thought, I'll just get the small bottle because it's only me. I don't need to drink an entire uh, big bottle by myself. So, let's see. I did start to take it off before I did the video. And I thought, well, how about doing the unveiling in front of everyone? So, it comes with a little wrapper on it. And before I open it, how pretty is this bottle, people? This is a pretty bottle. Okay? Pretty. So, here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a cork. Oh, wow. See that? Very pretty. Let's see. Okay, y'all. I may have to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Someone's looking down on me. Here we go. Just pops off like that. Okay, it smells sweet. I can smell the peaches and the grapes in it. It's pretty strong. I can smell the peaches and the grapes. There is 7.5% alcohol in this wine, so you're getting, you know, a lot of bang for your buck with this alcohol, with this wine. Okay, here we go. Now look how bubbly that is. Can you see that? Bubbly, bubbly. I love it. Let's see. Is the Oh, wow. And the top is reusable, people. I don't have to go and grab a cork and put it in the bottle. It's The top is actually reusable. I like that. Very, very pretty. This bottle I will definitely be keeping for some arts and crafts later. Very pretty bottle. They did themselves with that. Now, let's see. Again... Peaches and grapes. You can smell it. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you now. I like a more, I like a sweeter wine. Um, whether I'm drinking white or red or what, I, I like a sweet wine. This is not very sweet. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not one that I would go to. I'm having steak for dinner tonight, so it may pair well with the steak. I'll have to see, and I'll put that below the video if it pairs well, or if it doesn't, I'll put that in the video. But it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Not all Moscatos are sweet. I made that mistake when I started, started drinking wine about four years ago. What? work friend of mine who has turned out to be a great friend took me to my first wine tasting i believe it was four years ago may have been five but regardless we went to our first wine tasting and i fell in love with wine that night and i thought i'm now a wine drinker i never thought i'd be a wine drinker but i am now i prefer um white wines but if i find a red wine or darker wine that's sweet I will definitely give that a try and put it on my list of favorite wines. But as pretty as this bottle is, um, the this just isn't to my liking. It's not as sweet as I need it to be for me to have some enjoyment out of it. Again, this is Gemma Di Luna Moscato. Um, this brand has a lot of different um different wines pino grigios um, a lot of different wines that i think i'll be 
tasting and doing some reviews on. But I will tell you, if you like a sweeter wine, if you're like me and you like a sweeter wine, this is not the one for you, okay? Um, it's not very sweet at all. But 7.5% alcohol, you're going to get a good night's rest, trust me. Definitely not um, going to be one of my favorites.